So I got a new piece of equipment I'm really excited about and I wanted to talk about it a little bit with y'all. It is the Nemo Flyer sleeping pad. There were a couple of kind of innovative features about this pad that intrigued me and ultimately sealed the deal in my decision to purchase it. The first is the baffles. So this is a self-inflating pad. It's got foam on the inside. You pull up the valve, the foam expands. Uh, but this one is baffled, which is different than a lot of the self-inflating pads that you see on the market. The theory behind the baffles is that they will trap heat between your body and your sleep system, your sleeping bag, your quilt, what have you. Almost every inflatable pad I've ever had has been baffled, of course. I think almost everyone that's ever been designed has been baffled. But this is the first self-inflating, like, hybrid pad that I've seen with this design. The other feature that really intrigued me and made me want to buy the pad are these little silicone grip logos on the bottom. And the idea behind those, and I can tell you that it absolutely works, is it helps the pad stick to the floor of your tent. So you're not sliding all over the place if you've picked like a slanted tent pad, as we all have from time to time. Those little silicone grabbers really hold on, you know, tie the nylon or the Tyvek, and hold your pad in place all night. I toss and turn a lot. I am not a sound sleeper <laughs> at home or on the trail. And with my previous pads, you know, that tossing and turning would throw my pad all over the tent and make for a very uncomfortable night of sleep. This pad does not do that. I can roll over, can turn around, do whatever I need to do to find that sweet spot to get comfortable. And the pad stays put. This is by far the most comfortable night's sleep I've had on a sleeping pad. To inflate the pad, you've got this handy one-way valve. You just open that up and kind of go about your camp chores, start setting up your tent, things like that. It takes a while to inflate, as do most of these self-inflating pads. And like most of these self-inflating pads, it doesn't inflate all the way. I usually have to give it two or three quick breaths just to top it off. It is four ounces heavier than my previous pad, the Climate Static V insulated and it is much bulkier to pack because of the foam. But with the kind of sleep I get on this pad, I will absolutely take the weight penalty and the space penalty in my bag. It, it's harder to pack, yes, absolutely. It's a little heavier, yep. And it's 100% worth it for me. So I'm a bigger guy, uh, but I'm not incredibly tall. So I purchased the regular wide so that I have room you know, to roll around and flip and flop like I do throughout the night, but I'm a side sleeper, so I don't need the full length of the pad. And side sleeping is where this pad really, really shines. I have had no hot spots on my shoulder, no hot spots on my hip. I have never once bottomed out with this pad. It is remarkably comfortable for the kind of hiking I do. And I think that's a really important point to make. I am not a through hiker. I'm not going to carry this 28 ounce pad for 2,500 miles. I'm going out for three or four nights tops. I am a weekend warrior. So that weight penalty isn't as big of a deal as it would be if you had to carry this the full length of the PCT. The pad does have an R value of 3.3. I haven't had the opportunity to test that yet because it's July and I've only had it for a couple of weeks. If I had one negative thing to say about this pad, and it was hard to come up with one, for, for my purposes this is nearly a perfect pad. However, if I did have to say one negative thing, it is super bulky when it's rolled up and, and in its stuff sack and I've had to reevaluate how I pack my entire pack 
to work around the bulk of this pad. It is less bulky than the accordion style, you know, thermarest pads that you see a lot on the trail. And it is infinitely more comfortable than those pads. But compared to the pads I'm used to, you know, I started out carrying a thermarest, then I switched to the Static V, and now I've got uh, this Nemo Flyer. The bulk is considerable compared to my former pads. But as I said earlier, it's, it's worth it for the comfort level that I get and, and the quality of sleep that I'm getting on the trail with this pad. I would definitely recommend this pad for anybody who is going out, you know, three or four nights at a time or isn't an ounce counter. If you're just not concerned with how heavy your pack is, then this is a great pad. And definitely recommend it for anybody who's a side sleeper. So overall, I definitely would recommend this pad for someone who is, like me, a weekend warrior, who's not super concerned with counting ounces because they're not having to carry those ounces for thousands of miles. If you are a through hiker or an ultralight hiker, this is probably not the pad for you. But for people like me who go out on shorter trips, you know, I'm out three or four nights at the most, this is by far the best night's sleep I've had on the trail. I hope you found some part of this informative and useful. I thank you for watching and we will talk again soon.